Another additional tool that we're going to explain during this section is called EtherCap. Now, EtherCap, it's a sniffing tool. It's one amazing tool that sniffer cap uh, traffic. So it captures traffic going out and in from a device. Now, before explaining EtherCap, you should understand that we need when we plan to compromise a system, there is different way for doing that. We can try to compromise the device itself, and this is what will be explained in the Android hacking section. Or we can compromise the traffic. So sometimes the device is hard to compromise. And my objective is to capture the username and password. So I don't have to spend time and effort trying to compromise the device because it has a lot of security. For instance, so what I'm, I can do, I can wait until the user log into a website. So when he tried to log into a website like Facebook or Twitter or any website, he definitely going to send the username and password. And I can now try to capture them if they are sent over wired or if they are sent wireless. Same concept apply. So my point is you can try to, 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 to compromise a device or you can try to compromise the traffic or you can try to gain access to information from the traffic. So let me show you EtherCap and let me tell you how it works. And I'm going to actually, it's a big program. It needs a course by itself. But I'm going to go through the basics and I'm going to go show you uh, a proof of concept. And I'm going to let you try to surf around and uh, uh, check uh, this uh, application. It's one of the best sniffing application, actually. It's a free open source and free and one of the tools in EtherCap. Now, uh, to, to run the uh, uh, EtherCap from uh, Kali Linux, you need to go to Sniffering tool, and in Sniffering, you're going to find EtherCap minus G. Or you can type EtherCap minus capital G, and it will get you the same uh, program. So once you start, there is some steps to uh, do it first. Actually, I'm going to close it, and I'm going to open it one more time from the command line, so you'll be aware of the different way of running EtherCap. So you can open a terminal. <clears throat> and you can type EtherCap minus capital G to run the graphical interface because if you didn't put the switch, it will run the command line and it will run the EtherCap. Now, this one, or this application, it can be used for uh, capturing the traffic between different devices. So I can capture the traffic between one device and the router. He's trying to connect to the internet through the router and try to log in using username and password and the traffic is going through the router. I'm intercepting all the traffic going from this machine to this router. Or I can intercept all the machine, all the traffic in the network going to the router or going anywhere. But the main advantage of this tool is not just the sniffing part because you'll find a lot of programs that do that. The main advantage of this tool is that it can change. So it cannot just intercept, it can change. So for instance, I'm sending an email to someone so the program can intercept this email and he can change in the content of the email. Someone is going to a specific website. I'm intercepting this traffic and I'm redirecting to another website. So the main advantage of this program is not just, just that he's intercepting a traffic. And by the way, we are calling this attack man in the middle attack because it's actually a man in the middle. You are staying between two different devices, seeing the traffic going in between those two devices. So as I was saying, the main advantage of this program is that you are not just intercepting and seeing and capturing the information, but you also can, can change of them. So we're going to go through the basic in this lecture, but on the next lecture, I'm going to show you how it can intercept and it can change as well. So once you open the program, you can see, you know, there is different option here. So first thing you need to do is to go to sniffer and to choose the first one, which is choosing from which traffic you need to sniffer. So if you click here, you're going to see that he's going to sniffer from 
the network traffic from the Ethernet, which is the wired network traffic. So if this computer is connected to a wired network, he will only sniffer the traffic inside the wire. Why, what if I'm using a wireless network? So you need to click here and you're going to find the name of the wireless is the WLAN 0. So because my machine doesn't have a wireless right now, the Kali Linux, but if you have a wireless connection, you should find here WLAN 0 and you have to click on this one, WLAN 0. So you will be sniffering and intercepting wireless network, uh, wireless uh, traffic. And by the way, how do I know the name of, because you may find this name different on your machine. How do you know the name of the interfaces or the name of network adapter? It's easy. You can just right click here to the terminal and type ifconfig. And when you type ifconfig, you will see the name of the interface. So the interface that I'm using right now is ETH0. If I had a wireless interface, you will find ETH0 and WLAN0 and the IP for each one of those. But right now, I only have the wired one. Again, what I'm doing right now, I'm just going through the basic of the program. And next lecture, I'm going to show you a demonstration how it can intercept and change traffic. And I'm going to let you navigate and explore the tools because it's an amazing tool. Once I specify from which interface I need to capture traffic, the second part will be to go to host and choose scan host. So I'm asking him, okay, we decided to sniffer the network inside, as to, to sniffer the traffic inside your wired network, okay? So I wanted to see how many machines do we have in this network? 10 machine, 20 machine, five machine. And as you can see down here, he starts scanning and he finds five machine inside the same network. So I specify the interface. I ask him to scan how many machine do we have? Then going back to the host and ask him, show me those machine, host list. And he's going to show us all the IP machine. 